dog nappings on the rise. New cases caught on camera of pets being stolen from their families. Ariel Reshef has more on this and what you can do to protect your dog. Good morning, Ariel. Good morning to you guys. This is certainly distressing for dog owners. In many of these cases, thieves are specifically snatching French bulldogs. Those pricey pups are a prime target, but experts say it's also happening with other breeds and with dog nappings on the rise. Experts say there are steps you can take to keep them safe. Watch, this is the moment a French bulldog named Milani was stolen from a California home by masked intruders in broad daylight. The victim came home and interrupted the burglary. They attacked her, they hit her in the face um, with the gun. And, and then they kicked her when she was on the ground. The armed suspect seen here running out the door with the Frenchie in hand, rushing to get into this silver Chevy Malibu and driving off. The victim didn't do anything wrong besides leaving for her home for a little bit and then coming back. I mean, the, the dog was in her home. Reports are that she has some facial injuries and um, it was a pretty violent uh, attack. And this isn't an isolated incident. Just last week, a litter of French bulldog puppies stolen from a home by a pair of men in ski masks. The LAPD confirming to ABC News that case is still open and active. And last year, Lady Gaga's dogs were taken too. <coughs> from Long Island to New York City to Washington, D.C. to California, French bulldogs are the number one breed targeted by thieves, according to the American Kennel Club, followed by Labrador Retrievers and Yorkshire Terriers. French bulldogs can cost more than $5,000, one rare pup even selling for $100,000. In Orlando, sheriff's deputies busting a dog theft ring last fall after Bugsy, a French bulldog who has since been returned, was ripped from his owner's hands at gunpoint. And other breeds wanted too. This Australian shepherd stolen from an Orlando home in the dark of night. We believe most pets are stolen either for the thief's own family or to be resold. With dog thefts on the rise, up 40% from last year, pet detective Karen Tarquin is busy tracking down leads. She's handled more than 5,000 cases. 95% of all animals are going to be returned through other people's eyes and ears. So witness development, community awareness, you can't start that soon enough. With all the ring and videos and stuff that are on people's doorbell, many times we get leads from that. Experts say witness development and community awareness through missing posters is also key, but most importantly. Number one, microchip and enroll your pet. It also needs to be enrolled in a 24-7 nationwide service like ours. Definitely don't leave your dog on the leash outside unmonitored. And our experts tell us that they also recommend offering a monetary reward if your pup goes missing as an incentive to help bring that stolen dog home. Amy? And, yeah, and Ariel, this trend of stealing French bulldogs specifically is actually affecting the way breeders do their job? It is. We actually talked to several breeders who say they no longer publish their addresses because wow. they're afraid that they might be targeted. Wow. It's really that, disturbing. Keep your yeah. paws off our pups. Right? Exactly. <laughs> it's amazing. You can't even well walk said. your dog you. out anymore. So for those of us who have pets, too, they're members of our family. Exactly. That crimes are devastating. Ariel, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.